We are getting now a close up look at the Spaghetti Bowl's brand new HOV flyover bridge as Project Neon nears its last months of construction. Changes are on tap, though, for drivers, and that's going to start next week. 8 News Now reporter Hector Mejia explains what those changes are. We are safely standing on the new bridge that now links over 20 miles of HOV only lanes between US 95 and the I 15. You will get to ride it by 6 o'clock Monday morning. The structure, part of Project Neon, is about half a mile long and as tall as an eight story building. Monday is also when the new high occupancy vehicle lanes open through the I 15 resort corridor. There is no charge to use them, but there are some restrictions. Two or more people must be in a car unless it's a motorcycle. Trucks with more than two axles are not allowed. If you're caught breaking the carpool rules, you could face a steep $250 fine. What it's allowing that we had previously lacked is a seamless transition to make a freeway to freeway connection while still staying in your carpool lane. Lanes would end, you would have to jump into general lane traffic and then jump back in once you made the connection through the interchange. After almost three years of ongoing closures and lane changes, the billion dollar Project Neon is now 96% complete. Minor work is left to do, for example, activating all 42 active traffic management digital signs. They require permanent power from NV Energy and integration into the fast traffic center. The I-15 and surface streets also need some paving and overlay work. Project Neon is still on track to be completed and out of your way by the middle of July. Reporting from the Spaghetti Bowl, Hector Mejia, 8 News Now.